Welcome. In front of me is a Realme tab and today I'll show you how you can go to the setup of this tablet. So when you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with this super generic looking setup screen. So let's just select our language and then tap on start which takes us to the Wi-Fi connection. Now obviously you can set it up offline if you choose to which is what I'll be doing. Uh, it gives you a pop-up right here that by basically not connecting or connecting to Wi-Fi or mobile network helps you quickly set up your tablet. So we have things like sign into your Google account, restore apps and data, uh, get software updates and automatic setup time date. Wow. Uh, so basically everything that I usually say. Now I don't usually mention the software update because uh, that is kind of obvious I would say. You need network to download an update. Uh, but I do mention the Google accounts usually because that might interest some people. Uh, it does basically by signing into Google provide you with let's say like your contacts and all that stuff, your emails. So some people might want this but obviously if you choose to skip this it's completely fine. You can later on go through these settings and still uh, sign into your Wi-Fi and then sign into your Google account and do everything that is listed right here. So you're not really missing any time anything by skipping it right now. Now like I mentioned the date and time is not set automatically so you can fix it up if you want to right now but if you're planning to connect to some kind of network later on you can completely disregard it because it will be fixed uh, later on once you connect. Then we have Google services so we have location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data and uh, Going really briefly into those, we have location, which is uh, GPS tracking. We have scanning, which is uh, allowing the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And we have send user and diagnostic data, which allows Google to basically gather data on you and send it to themselves as basically a spy software. So no thanks to that one. And we can now go to the next page, which is protect your tablet. So here we have a couple different ways of doing so. We have uh, face recognition, pattern, parent, password, and just nothing. Now, if you're planning to use that face recognition, you will be required to set up either pin, pattern, or password. That is, if something happens to your face, or maybe the camera, uh, and the device cannot detect the face, or correctly detect it, uh, you have still some other way of accessing your device. But for this, I'm going to be setting up just a pattern right here. Select next, redraw it, and confirm. And it looks like that is actually the end of the setup. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.